This is a computer processor, also known as a CPU or Central Processing Unit. On this graphics card, there is also a processor, only that processor is what we call a GPU or Graphics Processing Unit. So what is the difference between a CPU and a GPU? Let's find out. So first of all, let's take a look at the CPU, the central processing unit. So right here, I've got a schematic drawing of a quad-core CPU, which is a CPU that has four processing cores inside it. This means that the CPU can deal with four instructions or four threads at a time. What you need to know is that four threads at a time is actually a relatively low amount. However, the CPU might not have that many processing cores, but each individual processing core is, as you can see, pretty big. Each processing core takes up a quarter of the actual CPU. Therefore, the processing cores of this CPU are individually very powerful. So, CPUs aren't designed to take many threads at a time. CPUs are designed to deal with individual threads as quickly as possible. This is what we call serial processing, and serial processing works great for many different things, ranging from browsing the web to writing a text document or watching videos, whatever. Using the serial processing strategy, the CPU can do all of that. However, there are some things a serial processor simply sucks at. A great example is rendering 3D graphics in a video game. So for that kind of stuff, we need a specialized processor that is very good at rendering graphics. And this is where the graphics processing unit or GPU comes in. So now let's take a look at a schematic drawing of a GPU. As you can see right here, we've got the GPU with 900 processing cores inside. You can also see that each individual processing core is very small, therefore each individual processing core is very weak. So a GPU cannot process individual threads very quickly, it's pretty slow actually. However, it can take many threads at a time. This strategy is called parallel processing, so you take many threads at the same time, but you process them slowly and it's the exact opposite of the serial processing that the CPU does. Also, people have discovered that parallel processing isn't only very good for rendering graphics, it's also very good for Bitcoin mining, scientific research and many other things. But despite that, GPUs aren't nearly as versatile as CPUs, so you always need a CPU in your computer as well. So in conclusion, CPUs are very good all-round general-purpose microprocessors that were designed to handle all the random stuff that you throw at them. They are serial processors. However, serial processors suck at rendering graphics. That is why you have a specific processor, a graphics processing unit, that is for rendering graphics, which is a parallel processor but people have discovered that parallel processes can also be used to do other things. So actually, that wasn't very complicated, was it? Well anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.